In this episode of King's Quest 3 to Air is Human, I show you how to give the bard his musical loot and therefore release his hidden talent. And subsequently, you can obtain a gold purse from the two robbers living in a treehouse. This and much more, stay tuned. VideoGamersOasis.com Play Subscribe This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points Get free gift cards Games And much more Try free apps Get rewards Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash f e a t u dot r e forward slash v g o use the app start reaping the rewards and I'm here now again with another walkthrough of king's quest 3 to air as human it's basically a remake or a reprod uh, uh, of a fan made as uh, made, made by uh, sierra i believe uh or tiara not T sierra um uh, basically uh, it's called King's Quest 3 Redux, and it is based on the classic 80s, 90s point-and-click adventure game, King's Quest 3, and it is a beautifully uh, authentic video game based on all the adventure games that we used to grow up as kids. And I hope you've been watching this series so far because I've, I'm really advanced in the game now. So if you haven't seen all of uh, this video before, uh, please make sure to watch uh, there's a there's a button on this video where you can click the very beginning of the playlist and watch from the very beginning and then you'll be able to catch up with what I've been doing so far. So let's continue on. I'm, I'm your host, Big Geek, and we're going to play more King's Quest 3 to Eris Human. Just before, I, before we begin our adventure, continue our adventure, I want to throw, just let you know, guys, that VideoGamersOasis.com is making progress and we're designing, I'm designing some really awesome pages. So you can click the link below to, to check out the, state, the the progress. It's not complete. It's a long ways from being complete, but it's, making, it's starting to takes shape. VideoGamersOasis.com is taking shape. So make sure to also like my Facebook fan page, Video Gamers Oasis. Follow me on Twitter, Video underscore Tweets, and you get notified of the progress of the website. Enough chatter. Let's get on with the game. We're doing a walkthrough of this game. And we're, we're in our last uh, uh, adventure. We were at uh, Mananan's house. And what we're doing is pausing the game for a few seconds. We uh, Mananan's on a journey now, so we have, we have a chance to go out and do some more missions. Uh, we're basically working on building up our strength. Our hero, uh, Gwydion, who is actually the son of the king, King Graham. Uh, he is trying. He's just discovered through uh, recently through a oracle that he is uh, has royal blood, and it is hit, it's up to him to save his family from doom, evil, evil uh, forces that are trying to destroy the kingdom. So we have to re we have to first of all liberate ourselves from Manan's grip, but we have to build up our abilities, our magic skills. So what we're going to do now, we've already, last episode, if you're watching my videos, Gwydion picked up the loot. Uh, he won it. Well, he he played, the he, after learning the magical, uh, mu musical magic spell, he was able to play the loot at the bar. And now he's he obtained the loot, the, the nice, beautiful mar barmaid was kind enough to give it to him. So now it's his, and now he has to do another mission. <sighs> Where do we have to go? We have to go out now. We've already done uh, some work for Manana. Now we're going to get out of here. And let's quickly get our items that we're going to need. Retrieve. We're going to need. What are we going to need? We're going to need this book, uh, magic map, loot. What else are we going to need? Let's. Uh, I think we got the loot already. So I don't think we really need anything else. So, let's go. Let's see, uh, quest for the minstrel. We'll call it quest, uh, hang on here. We have to go to meet uh, the bard. Save, we'll save this as loot. We'll save it, replace this with quest for the bard. Bard quest, bard quest. Gonna meet the bard. He's gonna need some help from us. And he, maybe in return, he can give us something that will be a benefit. So quickly, enough talking. Let's go already, guy. Come on. Let's go at 
on to an adventure. But Manannan's gonna be gone. We have until the time gets becomes red. When the time when the time uh, clock says is colored red, that we know that we that way we know it's it's too late. So we got some time. We got we got some time to explore. So just make sure we uh, don't waste too much time. Let's click on our magic map. The magic map's faded ink has. You tour this empty page. For okay, let's click on the magic map. You pull out your magic map. Now we're going to teleport. We're going to teleport to the bear's house. You feel a strange pulling, pulling sensation. sensation. All right, let's see what's going what's going on in the bear's house. All right, let's knock on the door. See what's going on. See if the bears are home. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, scram! Yikes. Okay, that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, let's um, let's take a break from the bear's house for a while because we need the porridge. We need to get porridge from them. Uh, every time Manan gets hungry, he we, it's always comes in handy. So let's go to the bard. Let's go to the bard. Okay, so, so, so okay, save your game if there. Um, so save our cream to Bard Quest, and we'll go over to. It says, <coughs> go up, <clears throat> go north one screen after you. Uh, save your game. Walk to the left. Okay, now we have to walk to the left. Watch out for the bandits. All right, hang on here. Now, switch the hand cursor and the acorn. Did we get the acorn already? I think we did. It feels, it, it feels peace. Okay. A little brown spot near to the tree. Okay, we have to go to the north. We have to go north one screen. North one screen. North one screen. All right. I think we already picked up. You don't. Your attempts to relocate. Your attempt. You don't have any need for more yeah. acorns. Yeah. Uh, earlier on these videos, I did pick up an acorn, so we don't need a couple acorns anymore. Now, what we need to go. Uh, we've already at the desert edge. Go north one screen. Save your game. If there are bandits around, okay. Switch the hand cursor and acorn. Okay. Talk to the bard a bit and get. Okay. We have to go back to the bard, which is to the right. To the right is the bard. No, that's not him. I'm sorry. Alright, go north one screen. Ah, shit! Ah, damn it. Damn. Robbers. After recovering from a whack. I went to have to reset. Damn it, I didn't even have time to, to escape. The guy just, they totally uh, ambushed me. Damn, that pissed, that pissed me off. Okay. Let's go back to where we were. And let's go north one screen. To the bard. There he is. Let's talk. There he is. The perplexed bard is composing some poetry. All right. Now the bard's here. Let's save our progress. Bard quest. Now it says, talk to the bard a bit and give him the loot. All right. So let's talk to him. Home. Talk to the guy. The bard seems to be rather distracted by his inability to complete his composition. Let's go to our items. Pick up the loot and give it to him. The loot looks old, but still in fine condition. Play it. You play a few notes in an attempt to tune the loot. All right, now give it to him. Here he goes. Take it. Perhaps this will help to inspire you. All right. This is it! Yes! My answer! The key to unlocking the creative force inside! Indeed. Don, it's time to go! Of course. The journey's long! Ugh. My pace won't slow! I'll prove that I have not been beat! There's nothing here! So on my feet, the future's way! Ah, it's painful. It's painful. Ah, it's awful. Well, at least he's going now. It's a pity you didn't have any talent potion left to give him. Yeah, that would have been helpful. All right, let's save our uh, bard quest. 
and see what the next step is in this game. So we give him the we gave him the loot after witnessing the horrible singing of the bard minstrel. He will leave. Pick up the pitcher. Now go north one screen. Okay, pick up the pitcher. It's a water pitcher full to the brim. Pick it up. We'll replace that as water pitcher. Water pitcher. And we'll go back. Okay, now we got the water pitcher. Now go north, one more screen. All right. All right. Now the next step is we go on one one north of the screen, approach the rock with the hole in it and examine the hole. It should be right here. The hole is deep, much longer than your arm. Okay. There appears to be a glass bottle at the bottom. Okay, and what happens when I grab it? Try as you might, you cannot reach the bottle. Save our progress, water pitcher. Now, next step, we got we got the hole examined. Examine the picture. The bard has left behind for some magic words. All right, examine the picture. You peer into the empty picture. At the bottom, the word Vendeltmir has been etched. Vendeltmir. Sounds German. All right. Use the pitcher on the hole to fill it with water. Okay. Let's see if it examine or touch it, maybe. You're not thirsty right now. Okay. What do we need to do? Use the pitcher on the hole. Okay. Use the pitcher on the hole. Simple as that. Band of me. You successfully fill the hole okay. with water and thoroughly soak yourself in the process. Okay. The pitcher slips out of your hands and shatters oh, no. at the bottom of the Why rock. the heck did it do that? Now what do I do? Water pitcher. Okay. Examine the pitcher with the magic words. Use the pitcher to fill the hole. Uh, finally, we can turn... Man fill it... Use the pitcher on the hole to fill it with water and then take the glass bottle the missing for the missing page to the spell book. Okay. The hole is filled with water. A bottle bobs on its surface. Okay. You take the glass bottle from the hole and discover a piece of paper inside. Okay. Alright, sweet. What is it? The piece of parchment has a magical incantation written on one side. You realize this is a page from the Sorcery of Old. Ah. On the back of the spell page is a scribbled note. Where does it say? Where can I find a mandrake root? Ah. I fear this land is barren of this rare vegetable. Mm. I, have I wonder where I could find it. darker places. Perhaps the cave. It is my last hope. Let's examine it a little bit more. The page feels very fragile. You assume it's very old. Let's uh, save our progress. Replace it as ah, uh, spell page. Yeah, we'll replace that and we'll call it spell page. And according to this instructions here, finally we could turn Manan into a cat, or so I hope. Before we do that, though, I, we need to with some more ingredients. Go back down to the screen and the, with the tree with a hole in it. That would be two screens down where you find the, found the acorn. Okay, so go down two screens down where we found the acorn. Watch out for the bandits. Just focus on what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Now. All right. Now look at the base of the tree trunk. Open your into oh, use the fly wings on the essence of petal to turn him into a fly. Ah, oh, the fly! Damn it! I didn't get the fly. Base of the tree. Trunk. You look up into the towering oak tree. 
you can only see large spreading branches and thick leaves. Looking down, you see a small hole ah. between the tree's large roots. Okay, we're not going to be able to do this right yet. Uh, we're going to go to save, spell page, replace, and we're going to use our magic map. Let's say that again. And we're going to use our magic map on our location and adjust. You pull out your magic we're just going to slightly map. adjust ourselves here. Go back to Bear's house. You feel a strange pulling sensation. And we'll be right back. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Maybe maybe they'll be gone when we come back. Alright. Knock on the door. Got to knock on the door. Get that porridge. There is no answer. Now is your chance. Let's get our porridge and go. Just right. So you take it with okay, you. Okay, good. Let's go already. All right. Save our progress as spell page, and we'll teleport back to back to life, back to reality, back to Manan's house. Your magic map. Okay, let's go back to Manan's house. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Pulling sensation. I feel a strange pulling sensation. It's a very pleasant sensation, by the way. Okay, now we're going all back to the very top of the mountain where Mananan lives. Now we're going to quickly go back and get some items, extra items here. All right, let's get our stuff back and go upstairs. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No time to goof around. Okay. We're gonna save our progress as spell page. Let's get our items. Retrieve. We're gonna retrieve a dead fly. Okay, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need something else too. I'm not sure exactly what it is, so. Hang in there tight, guys. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. All right, we are back at Manan's bedroom. We're back at the house, and we're at our bed, Woodian's bedroom. We have to go to the hole of the tree, but in order to do that, we have to get um, use the fly wings on the essence of Rose Petal to turn it into a fly. Now we get the the Rose Petal. We have to get the Rose Petal bottle. Retrieve. All right, let's go back to our rose petal essence. All right. We'll save this progress as magic fly. Replace as magic fly. Now we got it. We don't have a lot of time to goof around, so let's get on with it already. We're gonna go back outside. Teleport. We're gonna teleport to with our magic map. You pull out your magic map. Not excellent. We're gonna go back to where we were. You feel a to the bear's house. Sensation. Go back to that house. Uh, walk to left. Go north. Back to the acorns tree. You look up into the towering oak tree. You can only see large spreading branches and thick leaves. Looking down, you see a small hole between the tree's large roots. Let's pick up our um, fly wings and our rose petal essence. It's not wise to mix magical ingredients without instructions. Oh boy. You look. Let's see if we can grab something. We have to grab it first. Okay, what are we doing here? You try to climb the huge oak tree, but cannot find a good handhold. You slip back, and all you gain for your efforts are splinters. If only there were another way. All right, let's get that fly into the rose petal essence. It's not wise to... Okay, where's that hole? 
You look up into the towering oak tree. You can only see large... Ah! Where's the basis? You try to... We need the base of the trunk. You don't want to go reaching into holes when you have no idea what's inside. For all you know, that tree could be filled with ants. Alright, let's look inside. What's in there? What's in that hole? You bend down and look into the small hole. It's too dark inside to see anything. Alright. You don't want... Okay, that's not helpful. Um, can I, can I transform into a fly yet? Alright. Um, fly, fly, fly. It's not wise to mix magical ingredients without... Okay. What am I supposed to do? Save a progress. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Go back, screen... Uh, that would be two screens where you, where you see the... Look at the face of the tree trunk. Now open your inventory. Use the fly wings on the essence of rose petal to turn into a fly. The little vial of magic essence has a delicate, sweet aroma. Okay. What's this? You're not certain why you're carrying around something as disgusting as a dead fly. Maybe if I can adjust it. Picking off its wing, ah, you throw course. the rest away. That's what you need to do. <sighs> ah! Ah, damn it! Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Damn it! Stupid bandits. Ah, I was too close. Save our progress. Magic fly. Alright. Now, we're going back to the hole. You bend down and look into the small hole. It's too dark inside to see anything. Alright. Now we take the fly wings. We've picked off the wings. Now we take the wings into the magic essence. There we go. In your insect Let's go. Form, go in the hole. Easily through the hole in the tree. Now what we're gonna do is, as you buzz around inside Aha. the tree, you notice a rope dangling from above. What are we gonna do with it? You decide to get out of the tree before the spell wears off. Okay, good idea. <sighs> That's a close one. Did we get the you rope? You bend down and look into the small hole. It's too dark inside to see anything. All right. Grab the rope. You feel around inside the hollow tree and discover a rope of course. stretching up into the tree. But of course. Aha! You pull it and, to your amazement, nice. a rope ladder falls from the branches above. That's pretty high tech for that then. Okay, say what progress. We'll replace that with... Magic rope or uh, um, rope ladder. Rope ladder. Right now, now we got that part done. Fly into the base of the tree trunk to discover rope inside. Once you once you change back, turn into a, reach into the hole to pull the rope to make a rope ladder again. Save the game. Now climb the ladder to the treehouse. Let's do that. Climb the ladder. Excellent, guys! We found the treehouse. Woohoo! You've reached the porch of a shack built hmm, in the branches that'd be cool of the house. tree. You better be careful. Whoever dwells beyond that doorway may not take kindly to unexpected visitors. Uh oh! Better be careful now. Save as replace as treehouse. Treehouse. Now, the instructions for the treehouse. You hadn't guessed already, this is where the bandits live. Or whatever. Look at the treehouse before rushing in. If you, okay, look at the treehouse before rushing in. Okay. A rough opening in the plank serves as the doorway to this ramshackle treehouse. Okay. A hole cut into the side acts as a window. You can see someone moving about, but cannot make out any details. Okay. Save progress. The house. Okay. Now, if you get a 
if you get a what? If you get a notice saying that someone is moving inside, climb down the ladder and back up and keep looking until you get a notice saying that someone is sleeping. Okay, better go down. Well, actually, I'll just save our progress, see what happens if we go with someone there. All right, here it goes. Ah. Perhaps you shouldn't just barge in. Restore our game. That's what happens if you barge in. Okay. All right. A rough opening in the plank serves as the doorway to this ramshackle treehouse. A hole cut into the side acts as a window. You can see someone moving about, but cannot make out any details. Now we have to go back down, because if we don't, he'll kill us, so... We have to wait for him to, to go to sleep. Go back up. Look at the treehouse. A rough opening in the planks serves as the doorway to this ramshackle treehouse. A hole cut into the side acts as a window. Though you can see little of the interior, there seems to be a figure sleeping in a chair. Of course, he's sleeping. A rough opening in the pl Now, he's sleeping now. Carefully walk to the wooden trunk. Enter the treehouse, carefully walk to the wooden trunk, stay away from the sleeping bandit, and open it for any items the bandits may have taken from you. He's sleeping. Careful, stay away from You have entered the treehouse. A sleeping bandit slumps face down on the table, okay. occasionally stirring. Take care not to get too close, or you might wake him. What is this? A leather coin purse lies on the table. You surmise that this shabby chest is where the bandits store their loot. Carefully open it up. You open the chest, but find nothing inside. Nothing inside. Okay, save our progress as Treehouse. Now, what's next? Open up the items they have taken with you. If you were robbed by them, Otherwise, just carefully walk up the table, up to the table and get the coin purse. Leave the treehouse and climb the back of the ladder. Okay, get the coin purse. A leather coin purse lies on the table. Get the coin purse very gingerly. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. We will save our progress as... Uh, replace that flyweight eagle with coin purse. Coin purse. Let's replace. Now. What do I need to do now? Leave the treehouse and climb back down the ladder and warp back to the village. Okay. Ah! No, he's stirred. Ah, damn it! I should have got out while I with gravity one, Alexander zero. All right, restore coin purse. Testing the sturdiness of the tree. Get out of here while you're in it. No, I want to get out. Oh my God, he got. Damn it! Gravity one. Damn it! Ah! Perhaps you shouldn't just barge in. Ah, uh, treehouse. Go back to the treehouse. Ah! Damn it! Perhaps you shouldn't just barge in. You very carefully. Lift I want to get out of here. Off the table. Practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. You snatch glimpses of the sky through the... Ah! Oh, how do we get out of there? I'm trying to get out of there. Gravity 1, Alexander 0. 
I want to get the crown purse and just get out of there. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Right. Just walk to the table, get to the coin, and, and climb down the ladder. Where is the ladder? Ah, come on, where's the ladder? Perhaps you shouldn't just barge in. You observe nothing. In the hideout is made of rough planks and sparsely furnished with a table, chair, and wooden chest in the corner. Through the cracks of the stained and dirty floor, you see the ground far below. Okay, I'm trying to get out. Get get out of there. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. All right, how do we get out of there? Keep your dirty hand. Keep your testing the sturdy no I want to get out of there ah damn that guy gravity one Alexander zero Shit. perhaps you shouldn't just barge in okay this is getting frustrating You very Stay away from the sleep. Oh. coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandits. I have to stay away from them. Now get out of here. Why the heck is he not getting out? Gravity one, Alexander zero. No, no, no. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. Keep your fan. Ah! Gravity one, Alexander. Where am I looking? The chair seems less likely. You observe nothing. You observe. You observe. You you observe. You sn The hideout is made of rough planks and sparsely furnished. You very careful. Jeez. Gravity one, Alexander zero. I'm trying to get out of here. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. I want to... Oh my god. Perhaps you shouldn't just barge in. Wow, this is crazy. You very carefully lift the coin. All right, now we're out of here. Jeez, took long enough. Save our progress as coin purse. Oh, that was tough. Just to get out of there was tough, a, a challenge. You eagerly peek inside the soft leather coin purse yes. and discover it contains some shiny gold coins. You may want to count them. I sure will. The purse contains some gold coins. 35 in total. Sweet. Okay, save our progress as coin purse. Now. Where do we need to go now? Village. Okay, we need to warp to the village and enter the store to the left. Store owner. Okay. <clears throat> Play. And we will we'll, uh, teleport to the store. You pull out your magic map. To the village store. You feel a strange pulling, pulling sensation. sensation. Go to the village store. And use the money. 
in the pouch to buy him something. To buy something. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Get some money. Give him some money. I'd like to purchase something. Okay. Certainly. Take a look at the items on the shelf behind me. Okay, what am I gonna buy? All right, salt. Uh, okay, what am I buying here? What am I buying from this guy? Uh, buy all the items he has available. All the available. Oh, I'm save your game and exit the store. Buy, 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 buy. You count out four coins and give them to the shopkeeper. Buy. Okay. Next. Pouch. You count out ten coins and give them to the shopkeeper. Okay. Next. Lard. Buy. You count out eight coins and give them to the shopkeeper. Okay. What's next? Fish oil. Buy. You count out five coins and give them to the shopkeeper. Okay. Next. Salt. You got them all. Done. You can't use that item there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's replace that with shopping now warp back to Manannan's house go to Manannan's office okay I don't know if I'll have time for the magic but we'll see what we can do here let's go outside and we'll warp back to Manannan's house you pull out your magic map. All right. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Save our progress as Manannan on a journey. Go upstairs. See what we can do. Maybe we can fit it into our schedule. Now, it says Go to Menan's office. Save your game again and retrieve the clay. Go to Menan's office. Oops. Uh, re we'll replace that with uh, Menan uh, office. Menan's office. Now, go to Mana's office, save your game, and retrieve the wand from the safe before opening the trap door. Okay. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Gotta get the key. I can't open the, the locker without the key. It's not much good to me. Still, I may have some time to do this. So put away all my items that we don't need. Hide. Let's hide our um okay. we don't need ah uh, we need probably need um um We need the fly wings, probably. I don't know why. I just have a fear. Um, we might need it. We might not. We need to get the key. Okay. Now I'm just going to check uh, the instructions again to see exactly what I'm doing here. Now. Now. It says here. Uh, if you go to the basement, you go to the spell book. Flip to the first spell. Understanding the language of animals. Once you find the cell, open your inventory, click the arrow, and choose the thimble. Ah, sh why don't I just get them all? Your feet work. It's better just to have all your items. Retrieve all. Take all. Because, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it saves time if we get everything at once. We still have time to do this. Let's do this. We still have time. Not to worry. Go to Manan's office. Save our progress. Place, and we'll pick up the key.
You unlock the oak cabinet using the brass key. Okay. Get the magic wand. Inside, you find you take it. Yes, we know. We'll die if he finds out. Open the secret trap door. You quickly pull the levers in the correct sequence. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Careful. We'll save this as Manan's lab. Places Manan's lab. Okay. All right, so we're in Manan's lab. Into the basement and walk down the stairs. Now open the spell book, flip to the first spell. Open the first spell. Um, now open the book, flip to the first spell. The next spell we're going to is understanding the language of animals, a creature spell. I want understanding the language of animals. Okay, now. Let's save our progress as. Um, place as understand animals now use the spell section of the guide but to save you time I'll help once found, you found the spell open your inventory click the arrow and choose the thimble use the thimble on the bowl the thimble. Where's the thimble? I need that thimble. Okay. The little thimble is fashioned of white gleaming silver. Okay. Ah! What'd I just do? I, I've... You shouldn't try making up your own spell. I turned into a monster. <laughs> okay. Now. Use a thimble on the bowl. The clay bowl has been your favorite bowl for years. Okay, let's get the get the clay uh, the thimble on the clay bowl. That's not what I wanted to do. You shouldn't try making up. Now, uh, recite spell. Ah, not good. You shouldn't try making up. Okay, understand the language of animals. Now, open the spell book to flip the first spell. Once you've found the spell, open your inventory, click the arrow, and choose the thimble. Use the thimble on the bowl. Use the arrow of the thimble. You shouldn't try making. Okay. The mortar and pestle await the magic of muscle power. Okay, can I use that? Use the thimble. To use the thimble on the bowl. Is that the bowl? Don't touch anything unless you know what you're doing. 
Don't. Okay, that's not helping. Okay, pour one thimble full of dew into a bowl. Ah! Shoot. I need dew. Did I get dew in the water? The little thimble is fashioned of white, gleaming silver. You know what? I think I forgot to put uh, get the. Uh, you can't use that item there. Did I forget to put? Uh, you can't you. You can't. Touching this wood won't help. Touching the. T touching this wood. Okay. Touching this wood won't help. Ah. Understand animals. I need to get a thimble of wood. Let's re let's look at that uh, that spell again. Pour one thimble full of dew into a bowl. Place one tuft of fur from any animal to the bowl. Add one rounded spoonful of ground fish scales. Place one dried reptile skin into the bowl. Drop one small feather from any bird into the bowl. Mix bowl's contents with your hands until they become doughy. Recite the following: fur of beast and reptile skin with scale and feather to thrown in. Grant me sense to comprehend animals of water, earth, and wind. We have a magic wand over the bowl. Separate dough into two pieces and place the ear in the ears. Okay. Okay. I ha I I missed the spe a step here. Where am I going to get do? Okay, I am going to take a break because I'm obviously not on my best uh, game mind. Uh, but at least we got we retrieved some good items. We got the loot. We gave the loot to the minstrel. We're going to go back upstairs. And I'm back. Watch out for the cat. Damn cat. Stay back. Ah! Damn it. Seems like black cats really bring bad luck. Okay. Now. Head on back. Watch out for the black cat. He's gone. Let's go upstairs. Close the trap door. You quickly pull the levers in the correct sequence. Okay. <sighs> we gotta put the magic. Uh... The cabinet door locks as you shut it. No, not yet. Get the key. You unlock the. Yes, we know. Put the put the magic wand back where we found it. You carefully replace the magic wand. Yes, we know. Okay. Ah, damn it. Gotta close the door. The cabinet door locks as you shut it. Okay. So far, we're making good progress. We're not going to be able to make the, the animal understand animal spell yet, but we at least we have obtained a lot of good stuff. So we'll save our progress as uh, Menan's office. And we'll go upstairs, and we'll have a sleep because that's all I can do right now. Because right now I'm kind of hungry and tired, and I need to take a break. Head on back upstairs, and then we're gonna go upstairs, go for a sleep. First of all, we put away all our items, hide all our items. Hide all. Hide all items. Hide all. And we're going to save our progress as... Uh, we're going to save this as... Bedroom. And we're going to go to sleep. Sleep. We are exhausted. It's time to get out. Where's Menan? He'll be probably waiting outside the door. Alright, 
What do you want, Manana? I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. All right, sir. I'll get you something to eat right away. So now what we got to do, uh, like we usually do every day, we pick up our porridge that we've retrieved from the bear ha bear's house. And we'll go outside. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles okay. as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. All right, let's get him the bowl of food. Let's talk to him. Mananan does not appear in much of a talkative mood at the moment. Conversing with him further might be unwise. All right. I'm going to go outside, go back upstairs. Now. Go back to bed for a few minutes, rest, sleep. Let's see what Manana wants now. All right, what do you want, Manana? I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're going to save our progress as Manannan's Sleeping Place. And we're going to take a break. Quit. Yes, I'm sure. Gamers, I'd like to thank you for watching me play King's Quest 3 to Air is Human, a point click adventure game. And I hope you enjoyed our little adventure. We showed you how to uh, uh, help the bard by uh, giving him a loot and we obtained some items we were, we were able to uh, obtain some spells and uh, rescued a coin purse from a bandit on a treehouse and and we're in the process of learning a new spell but right now we don't have enough items uh, resources to find us so we'll have to find another day